Yeah, you've got to be in the end. Um, they 2 0 down. Uh, like, I thought we started the game quite well. 10, 15 minutes, we had good, good possession. We got into their box a couple of times, uh, worked the goalie. Um, but then, yeah, the, the sort of first goal I thought would be crucial, and it, it proved to be. It sort of come from us. We had lots of corners as well, and just our delivery or. Um, the goalkeeper had three catches on the bounce where no one even legs the glove on him and he's dished it out and Jesse's um, lost his footing or been a bit weak there and you know you one nil down and you're relatively pleased with how you started so it, it was tough to take but enormous credit to the players for the way they played second half I felt you know to show the kind of character and belief and um, you know to kind of go and take the game to them second half. Um, you know, after going 2 0 down, was was a credit to, to them. Bar a few moments in the game, I'd say we controlled the possession, controlled the game. Do you think it's a fair assessment that they sort of were happy to just sit in and soak up our attacks and catch us on the break? Was that their game plan? Um, yeah, they, they 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 pressed they pressed at times, but then when we beat the press, they got back into their shape really quickly and made it difficult. Like I say, I thought we'd done well first 10-15 minutes, some some good good possession. Um, yeah, when Carmen goes around the keeper, you're hoping that makes it 1-1 one, one, and you know, it might be a different game. Um, yeah, but enormous credit to, to the players, I'd say. If we had scored the um, first one maybe a bit earlier, um, you know, it was all, all us taking the game to them at their place. So, um, it, it's pleased, pleased, pleased with it in the end, but obviously disappointed with um, some of our play uh, first half. Came out in second half flying. What was your team talk like at half-time? Uh, just that we've got to show more desire and passion. They look like they're hungrier to the ball and want it a little bit more. And um, you know, no matter what game of football it is, whether it's a derby or any game of football, you, you know you can't legislate for that. You've got to, you've got to show more desire and passion and a little 10, 15 yard sprint to get out to the ball and and work the ball a little bit harder. You know, we weren't doing that. And uh, you know, like I say, it's, it's, I can say whatever you want and say it was all my my doing, but ultimately the players have got to come out and deliver it. And, I thought they'd done it superbly. You've been on record uh, throughout the season saying that you'd like to see a, a few more goals and assists from Jesse. He's popping up with a few now. Is he pleasing you with his performances? Yeah, he certainly is. I mean, like since he come come back, uh, you know, he, he left for a spell, and uh, since he's come back from that, he seems like he's really sort of um, knuckled down, and he's a real sort of reliable player now. He's working hard for the team as well, and I think you get your rules with um, with that kind of work rate that he's, that he's producing. Um, no, he's got a lovely left foot, and I think he's just got to go and put himself in those areas more. That's the, that was the challenge to him. Um, you know, I think he's got 11 assists now and maybe five or so goals. So he'll be looking to get double figures with the goals and stay our lead uh, assist um, player for the season. Um, he's one in front with that. So yeah, you've got to be pleased as from a number 10 that he's, he's delivering those. Um, Crucial moments as well. Danny Barker pulled up early. Has he has he pulled something? Has he? Yeah, he just he he felt it a little bit in the warm up. So um, yeah, obviously a bit of a blow and disappointed. But I thought Clark was excellent. Went, went in there and didn't phase him. And he obviously he could have been sulking that he's not been in, in the side. But you know he's not that type of lad, type of character. And he come on and um, you know I think we forget. You know that he is only 19 years old. Um, might not be 19 yet, but he's he's, he's a teenager still, uh, playing a big game like this. Um, you know, and he, he rose to the challenge, so that would do his confidence the world good. You made a decision. You you decided to start Lucas this afternoon. How did you assess his performance today? Um, obviously, he he will know himself um, that he's got to do better with the second goal. Um, he's got two hands on it. Uh, you know, he's got to deal with that a lot better than what he did. But um, yeah. Didn't have a great deal to do second half. Mm. Um, you know that's all you think about really first half. So uh, coming back, I think he's, he's good good for us on the ball. He, he moves the ball nice and quickly around the back. Um, so yeah, pleased pleased to have him back, and um, I think he'll only get better um, between now and the end of the season.